hello everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome so today i did receive a package from mccart this was a collaboration they sent over their four in one glx gel kit for me to try out for you guys so i am going to go ahead and open this it is a your nail lab box inside this kit contains a bottle of top coat and a bottle of base coat and they do have four pots of this like solid builder gel as what i believe it is i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the colors This kit also came with a small UV lamp. It does have a little stand there and a USB powered cord, as well as a pack of dual forms. There were also some silicone molds to create some decals if you'd like. You can use that gel to create these molds. It also came with a tool to pick up and mold the gel as well. as well as a cuticle pusher with a picker at the end. So here are all four of the colors I showed you guys. I initially wanted to do the clear one. Um, I did have a different set in mind. I ended up changing my mind afterwards. So I am going to go ahead and push back my cuticles. I'm not doing too much cuticle prep. I just need to push them back a little bit. I do have a bit of dead skin. Then I'm going to go in with my sanding band. It's a fine sanding band, a 180 sanding band. I am going to go over my nail just to kind of clean that up and remove the shine. I am creating a peel off base coat today so I did add a drop of cuticle oil on my natural nails. I am going to rub that in and once I'm done with that I am going to apply some top coat on, my, on all of my nails and I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds.
now that that's done, I am going to take some base coat from the kit and I'm going to use this to adhere my nail tips. I am using a gel X lamp. This just makes it easier for me to adhere the tips. Then I'm going to take my sanding band and blend the tip with the nail. Once I was finished with that, I am going to take the base coat again from the kit and I am going to apply that on the entire nail and cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds again. For slip solution today, I am using some rubbing alcohol and I'm going to pour that into my dapping dish. And here's the poly gel that I am using today. This is from a car. It's my favorite nude pink. I am going to place a bead at the tip of my nail and begin blending that.
so here's how the application looks sometimes i just want to leave the nails this color then i am going to go ahead and wipe off the sticky layer with some alcohol just so that when we begin filing the nail file doesn't get all gummed up Now that I'm done filing, I am going to go in with a fine bit just to remove the scratches from the nail. We are now ready to start gel art. I am gonna take this gel liner from SXC. I kinda wanted to try it out to do the French tip today. I am doing French tip on all of the fingers except for one nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I did struggle a little bit as I'm not used to using gel liners. I think it was just a me issue, like a, a user error. So yeah, I am gonna make a French tip and I'm gonna do the best that I can. I still think that using a nail brush is easier.
Once I finished curing the French tip, I did apply two layers of that white and I am going to top it off with some top coat. I personally like to apply top coat before I do the 3D gel art. So I'm going to apply top coat and cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. So I am going to be taking some silver rhinestones today and some rhinestone glued from a cart as well. I'm applying just a small little droplet on the side of the nail there. After I finished placing the gems, I did cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds and I took the solid gel, the white color, and I put a really small bead at the top just to start creating the petals and I am using a toothpick today. I did want to use the tool that came in the kit, but it just didn't really work. It wasn't, not that it didn't work, I just wasn't getting the look that I wanted with the, the tool. So I ended up using a toothpick and I find that this gives me the, like a really good petal look here. And I have to say this was fairly easy. It doesn't require any slip solution. The only thing that's, I guess, difficult about it is that it really is hard for it to stick on the nail once you do apply the top coat. So maybe it's not that much of a good idea to add it on a smooth surface because the beads just kept falling off the more I kept trying. But I have to say this is pretty easy to do. I did this all in one try and I'm pretty sure you can also do this in one try as well. So here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I actually think this turned out a lot better than I had expected. I'm not too mad at it. I have everything I used linked in the description box. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.